two group uh, difunctionalized organic compounds uh, are those uh, compounds in which uh, two similar or different functional groups appear at different positions such as 1, 3, 1, 4 or 1, 5. So these uh, are uh, known as uh, 1, 3, 1, 4 or 1, 5 for difunctionalized organic compound. Their uh, disconnection is very important uh, because it uh, involves carbon-carbon disconnectivity. So the retrosynthetic uh, analysis uh, is uh, significant with respect to the subject of uh, retrosynthetic. Usually we encounter three different types of compounds. 1, 3, 1, 4 and 1, 5. Diafunctionalized compounds. Usually, uh, the digit uh, refer to positions uh, uh, of two functional group, such as uh, the compounds uh, is known as uh, a beta hydroxy ketone. Usually, this uh, uh, sort of uh, diafunctionalized compound uh, is obtained through aldol condensation. In which uh, two aldehyde or ketone molecules combine together uh, for giving a, an intermediate. Uh, this intermediate is uh, relatively unstable uh, and uh, it is not uh, separated from the reaction because uh, uh, it is uh, unstable therefore it uh, is dehydrated to uh, a b alpha beta unsaturated ketone compound like this which is known as alpha beta unsaturated ketone So this is uh, about uh, aldol uh, condensation. Uh, next uh, uh, category of 1-3 relationship can be obtained from a compound like again a sort of ketone in which we have an amino group at uh, beta position. This is called this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon. So these uh, sort of compound are known as beta amino ketone and we obtain this uh, sort of compound through a manic reaction another uh, important uh, category of uh, one three relationship can be exhibited by a sort of compound in which we have two amino group and this is known as beta Diketone can be ester as well, so we can obtain this sort of compound through Claven ester condensation. So, in all uh, these uh, uh, compounds, uh, we have one three relationship. For example, this is carbon number first, second, and third. Again, here is one, two, and three. Here, one, two, and three. So these uh, compounds are known as 1,3 diafunctionalized compound, uh, which uh, could be obtained through three different type of uh, reactions such as aldol, manic and Claven ester type of condensation. Besides, we can have another important uh, category uh, of uh, compound in which we have hydroxyl group. With respect to an amino group. For example, again, uh, if uh, I assign the number 1, 2, 3, we have a 1, uh, 3 diafunctionalized compound in which we have two different functional groups such as amino and hydroxyl group. So we must uh, be clear about their disconnection as well. So all these are an example of 1, 3 uh, diafunctionalized organic compound. As far as the uh, one four relationship is concerned, we could have two functional group at one four position. For example, 
these are the components are known as one four and that function lives uh, organic compounds and <coughs> the third uh, type of compound which are known as one five that function lives compounds uh, in for example we have here if uh, I assign the number this is one two three four and five let me correct it again this is carbon number first second third four and five so this type of compound are known as uh, one three uh, one five difunctionalized organic compound. Usually, these sort of compounds are obtained through mycelization. And as far as uh, uh, the one four difunctionalized compound are concerned, uh, we usually apply the concept of unpolarized right over here. which means reversal of polarity so we will study all these compounds uh, in a today's session such as uh, one 1,3 difunctionalized organic compounds 1,4 and 1,5 we have these three different type of uh, difunctionalized uh, compounds so let's first focus on uh, one three uh, difunctionalized organic compound. Usually when we encounter uh, two functional groups, uh, especially um, at uh, one three position such as uh, a carbonyl group, hydroxyl group, a minor group, uh, then we will proceed through a CC disconnection. Let's consider an example, example number first. we have a molecule so as uh, the molecule is uh, alpha beta unsaturated um, aldehyde therefore we uh, are certain that the molecule has uh, produced through aldol condensation therefore we go for functional group interconversion in order to get a hydroxyl group beta to a carbonyl group now we will uh, disconnect the molecule right at uh, this point as uh, this is carbon number first carbon number second and carbon number third so we call it one three down uh, oxygen disconnection especially we will get two fragments two symptoms with a positive charge on a fragment uh, bearing uh, hydroxyl group and a negative charge on carbonyl functionality so both uh, are equivalent structure for an aldehyde which is known as butanol because it is a four carbon atom and the target material has formed through the condensation of two molecules of butanol so this example uh, reflect a one three uh, disconnection especially a carbon carbon disconnectivity as far as uh, uh, the cyano compound are concerned con consider we have an example of cn which uh, can be treated with the base and we get a sort of enolate species 
in which a light pressure that can aid to a carbonyl compound for giving a compound like this after protonation and we have phi and right over here which can be either uh, converted to a carboxyl group or it can be reduced to an amino functionality for example if uh, we treat it with acid or hydrolyze we will get a beta hydroxy acid or we can reduce it to Roxy amines. So this is uh, an application of uh, a nitro compound which can play uh, a special application of uh, nitrile which can uh, perform a role of uh, a carbonyl or an enolate for adding to a carbonyl com compound such as aldehyde or ketone. Uh, now let's uh, consider an example number a second. We have a molecule of uh, one four disconnection or one four dafunctionalized organic compound like this. So here we can make a disconnection right over here by getting two syntones. Let me place negative charge right over here and a positive charge right over here. Here we will introduce the concept of uh, unpolong because uh, we have opposite polarity on the two carbon and fragments. So the fragment number first is equivalent to a simple ketone and the fragment number second can be obtained by placing positive charge uh, our halide atom next to a positive charge. So here we have introduced a reversal of polarity. So therefore we can get um, the compound through the sort of disconnection. So, so in one for a relationship, uh, we will uh, use uh, one of the thin tone as a normal aldehyde and another. Uh, Use we will use an unpolong which is uh, not possible uh, if uh, we have a one four relationship, so it is not possible to proceed without an unpolong. As far as the last uh, example of one five relationship is concerned, which involves Michael addition, just consider this molecule. Here we can make this connection right at this point, so we will get two fragments. with the negative charge right over here and the other fragment is easy to predict which is uh, a Michael acceptor and this uh, is a Michael donor which can be or uh, its equivalent structure can be Here we can have some sort of ethyl group. So to make it a Michael donor, or it can be equivalent to a diethyl compound. So to cut short, and uh, let me summarize the basic of one three uh, diphenylized organic compound. We could have three different type of uh, difunctionalized compounds such as 1,3, 1,4 and 1,5.
As far as uh, one three uh, dipunctionalized uh, compound are concerned, they can be made through aldol condensation. This compound uh, involve beta hydroxy ketone. We can have a beta minor ketone. This type of compound can be made through uh, a manic reaction. And as far as one three di ketones are concerned, we can get this type of compound through a Claisen ester condensation. So this uh, disconnection can be made. Uh, just uh, take an example of uh, example number first for example we have this connection right over here but we have made a functional group in interconversion in order to make a simplify the molecule and we will get two symptoms and this is uh, A1 and this is B2 symptoms let me write about it So both are equivalent to an aldehyde molecule. As far as the uh, uh, nitrile I confirmed, it uh, provides an important latent functionality. This is latent functionality which can be transformed to different functional groups such as uh, <coughs> carboxyl group or amino group uh, <coughs> later on. So again, it also give a one-three relationship. For example, here in this case, we have hydroxyl group and cyan group at one-three position. As far as one-four dipunctionalized organic compound are concerned, uh, we use the reversal of polarity in this uh, compound, and because we have two fragment or synthone which have opposite polarity, so this opposite polarity can be result through the use of unpolonga reversal of polarity and as far as one five di functionalized compound are concerned we usually get them through michael addition uh, in which we have michael acceptor and a michael loner thank you for watching the video